These were done mostly in the 19 teens. Early Crocker 19 Art Museum's chief curator, Scott Shields, leads a tour of a new exhibit he spent years putting together, the landscape paintings of Granville Redmond. Poppies and flowers in particular had everything to do with Impressionism. Granville Redmond became known and successful for painting California a hundred years ago. Some of these same mountain ranges, so it just kind of spoke to me with a lot of childhood memories. But it was a different new California art form that made Granville Redmond. He had a big head. <laughs> Redmond had a large, expressive face and, and a lot of big, abundant white hair. As a character actor, Granville had a completely unique skill in silent movies. And he thinks, well, maybe I could earn a little money in the movie business. And he was in films with Charlie Chaplin. Granville Redmond was perfect for the silent screen because silence was his world. Granville Redmond was deaf. Had scarlet fever at age two and a half. Um, that left him deaf and he really was never able to speak after that. Granville Redmond did not paint in sweeping strokes, but in layers and layers of dots on big canvases. His nocturnes are my favorite paintings, Those, the, especially the blue, the overall blue paintings. They are the most gorgeously quiet paintings, and there are very few colors. There is a zen quality here, not a wind, but a gentle breeze, not crashing waves, but a gentle lapping of water in moonlight. You feel like you are in the landscape. I think everybody has been in that moment where they're standing in the landscape by themselves and you just sort of are overwhelmed by nature and that's what he's, he captures that. A sense of silence from the silent world of Granville Redmond. At the Crocker Art Museum, I'm Mike Carroll, KCRA 3 News.